those teachers who are striking in TSC have lied against us. And it is terrible. Uh, I want to say some few things we do for those teachers. Number one, first of all, most of them is us who employed them as BOM teachers before they were employed in TSC. During those days, it's us who are paying them salaries, who are giving them food, who are paying for their rents, and this can all be proved. After that, again, we are the ones who brought them to the TSC office for employment, and all of them were employed. After that, they were posted to our schools, and this can be ascertained by the teachers who are there in our schools now. We buy them, we buy, we give them food, we give them break, we give them lunch. These are facts that can be proved. Uh, we give them pens and pencils and, and even books for preparation of professional records. They hardly use their money in the schools. And today they say, some of them say that they are harassed. We don't harass them, the other issue. Many of the headmasters and principals are people who are responsible, people who are married to two wives, some are married to three, some are married to four. We can't harass, sexually harass our female teachers. That is not accepted in Islam. That is one of the biggest crimes in Islam. That is pure fabrication. The other thing, uh, rape and sexual harassment is a criminal offense. I want to ask, have these teachers ever, have they ever reported this to the other that is concerned? If they, they, they say that the, the, our TSC, our county director is a local, and the sub-county director is a local, have they ever gone to the OSBD? Have they ever, because all the sub-county and the county commanders of security and the locals, have they ever gone to them? This is pure lies. If these teachers want to go for transfer, let them go slowly. But it is very bad, it's uncouth, it's unacceptable to spoil our names.